Hello, my name is Hayden Wozlinchuk and I work here at Heron Instruments, Inc. Today I'm going to be walking you through the setup process of our line of Dipper Log groundwater data loggers. First things first, download the most recent version of the Dipper Log software from our website www.heroninstruments.com. I will include the link in the video description below. Once you have downloaded the software, go ahead and double click the Dipper Log software to start it up. The first screen you'll see is the logger information tab of the software. With no dipper log connected, this screen will appear with blank fields. At this point, you can plug in the USB end of your PC communication cable to an open port in your PC. Next, you will have to remove the cap of your dipper log and connect the 3.5mm headphone jack into your dipper log. Once connected, Go ahead and click on the Connect Loggers button in the top left hand corner. Because this is a new Dipper Log setup, the Device tab will pop up and you will simply fill, fill the fields as appropriate. The job number can be whatever number letter combination you like up to 5 characters long. For example, I will put in Heron. The well number must be an alphanumeric number. For example, I will call it Log19. Take a reading after is basically how often you want your Dipper Log to take a read. This can range from 1 second to 255 hours. With the drop down, you have a choice of either seconds, minutes, hours, and log time. Keep in mind that the more frequent the readings, the quicker the battery will drain. For this example, I will take a reading every 45 minutes. The transducer depth refers to the distance in whichever measurement preference you have selected. The dipper log will be suspended below the reference point. Basically, however much direct read cable or suspension cable is on the logger. Datum location refers to the reference point for the transducer depth. For this example, I will leave it as top of your well casing. The late start is rather straightforward. With this feature, you can set your dipper logs mission to begin at a specific time and date. Set logger date and time. You don't have to worry about this too much, but if you are going to set your logger to a different time zone, than your PC, for example, daylight savings and standard time. If you realize you made a mistake or multiple mistakes when setting up, simply click the reset form button to clear all the fields. Once you are happy with your setup and all the fields are filled, you can click save and start to begin your mission. Remember, if you don't want your logger to start recording immediately, then select your delayed start time. Once your dipper log is programmed and you've clicked save and start, the logger information tab will display the new status of the connected dipper log. To disconnect your dipper log, simply unplug your PC communication cable from your computer or the dipper log from the PC communication cable, and there you have it. Your dipper log is programmed and ready to be deployed in the field. 